let's locate the partial positive and partial negative charges in these two molecules. First thing we want to look for is for polar bonds. The carbon-hydrogen bond is considered to be covalent because there is a very small electronegativity difference between hydrogen and carbon. The electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen is greater and with uh, oxygen being the more electronegative. So the oxygen here is going to bear a partial negative charge and the carbon on either side will have a partial positive charge. And the same thing here. This oxygen will have a partial negative charge because it has a greater, electro a greater electronegativity. It has a great attraction for the electron. And these carbons will be partially positive. So look, look at the one down here. Again, the carbon-hydrogen bond is considered to be pretty well balanced. It's uh, going to be covalent and nonpolar. The carbon fluorine and the carbon chloride bond are going to be uh, polar bonds. Fluorine is the most electronegative uh, element, and so it's going to have a partial negative charge. The chlorine will also have a partial negative charge. And that leaves a partial positive charge on the, uh, on the uh, carbon.